and it begins like this. I dream of you, then you appear. Together we became amor, love, amor, resplendent life, you and I. One day, we bundled gifts in our backpack and crossed a bridge outstretched like the universe. And here it says, Adios corazón. Goodbye, my heart. That's how it reads in English. And here is a backpack with the gifts that they bring. And when we made it to the other side, thirsty, in awe, unable to go back, we became immigrants. Migrantes. You and I, the sky and the land, welcome us in words unlike those of our ancestors. How do you think that the mama feels? Does the baby feel the same as the mama? There were so many things we didn't know. Unable to understand and afraid to speak, we made lots of mistakes. Now, I'm going to tell you something about these drawings. I put these drawings here. I am the illustrator, so I decide what images are going to be in these pages. And I chose these images as the illustrator of this book because those are mistakes I made when I was a mother, an immigrant, a new immigrant in the city of San Francisco. And um, these are things that happened to me. I made those mistakes. And I'm going to show you, for instance, for example, I made this mistake. You see, here is the mama, and you might be able to see that she has something on her hand, and that's a telephone. I made this drawing here with the mama, and like she has this anguished face, and the baby is, is, is with her, and she is just saying, I, because this happened to me. Um, when I was a new immigrant, I never wanted to answer the telephone because I didn't know what I was gonna be able to do with the person who spoke on the other side because I wasn't gonna be able to understand that person because I didn't speak her language, I didn't speak English. And, and let me do one thing here so I don't lose my battery. Um, so what I will do is that I will be afraid of answering the phone. And I made this drawing here to to remember and to to signal how it was like for me that I never wanted to answer the phone. Or I put this drawing here because when I needed to go to a place, I knew I could get there in a train, a train called the BART. But to get to places, you can use maps to get to where you want to go. But these maps were written in English. And if I knew that a place had a certain name, it sounded like it was supposed to be written differently because I speak Spanish. And things in Spanish, they the sounds um, don't you write them different like than in English. So I could never find where I was going. It was very difficult for me, and the, I, I couldn't use the maps. And sometimes I thought I could not get to places. Uh, when my son started to learn how to read, he was the one who was helping me. And I put this drawing here, the one with, with the mother inside the fountain with the baby, because I made that mistake too. One day I went inside the fountain because I didn't understand the rules of, of this new place. I, I couldn't read them. Um, I couldn't understand it if someone told them to me. And it wasn't until um, we were scolded for doing things that then I understood that we couldn't do that. I couldn't go inside the front and bathe my baby. Okay. You probably have made mistakes just like this, right? I made lots of these mistakes. And Juan Aula says, she says she, she's done it too. I did things like this, like that. And this mom who cannot understand the language and cannot also um, speak the language, the only thing that she can say is, I, I, I. You and I became caminantes. 
thousands and thousands of steps we took around this land until the day we found and look at all the places that they had been walking I did a lot of walking with my baby and my stroller I met such amazing places like like here you see it says adopt me we got our baby cat one day when we were walking with a stroller and we found a woman who was giving a, a little cat for adoption and sometimes when we walk we would find people who were doing protest and I didn't understand what they were talking about uh, but I knew that they, they, they were asking for something and they were doing it with everything they had um, and we walked to many places and discovered many things and here goes this mom and this baby that they find a place we had never seen before. Suspicious. Improbable. Unbelievable. Surprising. Unimaginable. What place is this? Do you know what place is this? Because this is very important. It's very important for me. And you are right, this is a public library. This is a place where there were walls that I had never imagined existed. Where we didn't need to speak. We only needed to trust. And we did. Now can you see this moment? I love to call this page the page of happiness because a lot of happiness is happening here. I don't know if you can see that here, this lady is giving something to the baby. What is it? I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's a magic card. It is a library card. Do you know how to use magic cards like the library cards? You go to the library, you fall in books, in love with books. You find books that you completely adore and you want them so much. You wish that they were used and you could take them home. Well, with your library card, you can do just that. You can take those books and take them home. And those books are you for a few days, for a, a, a few weeks. And you can read them to your sister, your, your, your doggy, your cat, to yourself. You can read them when you are, uh, before you go to bed, when you are having breakfast, when you're in the bathroom. You can read them anywhere you want and anytime you want because they are yours for a few weeks, for a few days. And then when you are done, you take them back to the library and then you take out more books that you are falling in love with. And that's how, that's, you can do that if you have a library card. So here, that is this lady called a librarian is giving a library card to this baby. Then this, even the sun comes out, look at this. Don't you think that there is a lot of happiness here? I think there is a lot of happiness. Books became our language. Books became our home. Books became our lives. We learned to read, to speak, to write, and to make our voices heard. What do you think that this, this mama is doing? What is she making? And look at this. The baby just found something inside the backpack and is giving it to her mom. Someday, we will become something we haven't even yet imagined. But right now, we are stories. We are two languages. We are lucha. We are resilience. We are hope. We are dreamers. Soñadores of the world. We are love, amor, love. And I'm gonna see if you notice that the beginning of this book, there is a hand with a pencil and it's right here. You see? This hand that seems to be writing the words 
Perhaps she's also making all this art, this hand. But at the end of the book, there is a different hand. What does this hand look like? Does it look like it belongs to the same person at the beginning? Because this looks like a big hand and this looks like a small hand. To me, I created this because I wanted to recognize that children are our storytellers. They are the ones who also tell their stories. As much as we adults are authors and create books and tell the stories, the real stories are in the hands of children. They are in your hands. You can tell the stories. You can tell them with all the words that you have, the words that you know. If you don't know any words yet, you can do anything you want to create the stories. You can use paper, you can cut out um, colors and glue them onto a book. You can make your own books. Here in this page, when I was asking you, what do you think that the mother is doing? Well, the mother is actually making a book. She's making a book in the way that she learned how to make books in the public library. And I'm gonna show you, I have a lot of things here. I put that because when I was also a mother with a baby, I learned to make my own books. And I learned them to make from books like this one right here with instructions that I found at the public library. So I will go to the library and I will find books that also had drawings and that helped me. They ha it has pictures and they helped me to understand when I couldn't read them because I didn't know enough English yet. And they had instructions and I could, if I followed the instructions, I could make my own books and I could tell my own stories in the same way that you can tell your own stories.